Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 3rd of November 1868, John Willis Maynard became the first African American person to be elected to the United States Congress. John Willis Maynard was born in 1838 to free people of colour in Illinois. Educated at an abolitionist school in the small city of Sparta and later at Iberia College in Ohio, he established himself as a gifted speaker and by 1862 had moved to Washington, D.C., where he wrote for several African-American newspapers. While in the capital, Maynard debated the idea of colonial settlements for freed slaves with Frederick Douglass. This brought him to the attention of Abraham Lincoln's Commissioner of Emigration, who appointed him to a clerkship in the Interior Department. Nevertheless, as one of the first African-American clerks in the federal government, Maynard faced resentment and criticism from his white colleagues and was forced to resign three months later. In 1865, Maynard settled in New Orleans, where he established his own newspaper, as well as being an inspector of customs and a commissioner of streets. As an active member of the Louisiana Republican Party, he became their candidate in 1868's special election to succeed James Mann, a Democrat who had died in office. Running against Caleb S. Hunt, Maynard secured approximately 64% of the vote, and on the 3rd of November 1868 became the first African-American person to be elected to the United States Congress. Despite the large margin of defeat, Hunt contested the election, and the two men were invited to Washington, where Maynard became the first African-American man to address Congress. He presented his case in the chamber of the House of Representatives, but after lengthy debate, Neither candidate secured enough support from Congress, and the seat remained vacant. 